Janice at Sweet Velocity and wanted to talk to you about a little known thing called sacrificial anodes and they're also called zincs because well they're made out of zincs it's a different zinc it's a different kind of metal they're right here on this outdrive this piece this different colored metal right here and also on the piston now you're probably wondering like okay so what and why should I care well consider this when you have two pieces of metal and you have water connecting them, you essentially have a battery because you're going to have current. So now when you have something like that in the water, what you're going to get is electrolysis. And what that means is that ever so slowly, the metal um, that's in the water is going to get eaten away by this electrolysis. So these pieces here, the zincs, they're called sacrificial anodes because these will deteriorate first before other metal parts that are in the water. So before your propeller and before the rest of your outdrive. So they're very important to check from time to time because you'll notice they'll start to get deteriorated if there's anything in the water that is creating strong enough of a current to have really bad electrolysis. So when could that happen? Well, it's going to happen naturally, but also if you have uh, shore power that perhaps isn't properly connected or there's something not quite right in the boat system, or even if there's stray current from nearby boats where perhaps there is something coming from them, it could pass from one boat through another and so on in the area there and cause some of these to actually go faster. So let me show you what it looks like when things aren't quite right with the outdrives and what could happen. So hang on. So check this out. This boat has had some kind of electrolysis stuff going on here. And you'll notice that there's no zinc here. There's one here that's still pretty much intact, but something's not connected right. So look at this. Um, even the propeller is starting to get corrosion on it. And you can see in the skeg here, there's pitting just about everywhere. So that corrosion is all from stray current in the water. So there could be an issue with the electrical system on the boat, or it could be that when it's been in the water around other boats, there could be stray current that's been affecting it. Now, the sacrificial anodes obviously should go first. The fact that this one's still here means that some of that stray current is affecting other parts first and it's really just a matter of time as that starts to deteriorate and let's see is there any other ones where they're supposed to be no but let me just show you um, another thing to be on the lookout for when you're checking these on your boat okay so i've squeezed in here so i could just show you real quick that another thing to look for when your boat is out of the water and you're checking your zincs like there's one here it looks like there might have maybe there's supposed to be one here in the piston it's gone there's a little bit of corrosion already starting I don't know if you could see a little bit on this zinc and right around some of these terminals here. And look at this little cable right here. There's a lot of these, um, well, a fair amount of them anyway, different parts here. And what their purpose is, is really to kind of connect all the metal pieces together so that as any kind of current is passing through the, from metal piece to metal piece, that they're essentially connected to these zincs so they get eaten up first instead of the rest of the metal. So if something like this is detached, that means that something's not properly, you know, connecting everything together the way it should so that the zincs can do their job. And I think that's probably why there might be some corrosion here, but um, you would need to have, you know, a proper mechanic check that out and see if they could troubleshoot what, where the problem's really coming from. If it's stray current coming from other places, then that's going to be harder to figure out. But for starters, um, the owners of this boat need to figure out with their mechanic where this little guy is supposed to go and so there you have it in terms of zincs and why you should care and make sure that you are checking yours and of course if you liked this video certainly check out the rest of them on my youtube channel subscribe to my youtube channel and of course also visit sweetvelocity.com and become a member so i hope to see you there take care